Hey guys, and welcome back to another great tutorial. I cannot wait to show you how to get Clombo in your UEFN Fortnite creative maps. As a disclaimer, I would not use Clombo in any published maps. This is just for fun, make memes with it, test out importing items, and have a good time. So let's just go ahead and dive right into it. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is grab the Tilted Towers template island. I'm using this template so I have somewhere to place Clombo. All right, and I'm thinking I'm gonna put Clombo right back here on the tilted map. So now that we found where we're gonna put Clombo, we're gonna go ahead and head over to the content drawer and get started. The content drawer is in the bottom left corner there. Now you're gonna hit import. Once you hit that import button right there, you're gonna go ahead and locate the assets that you found in the description below to Clombo. You're gonna grab the .glb file and hit open. You're gonna leave everything here as it is and hit import. We're gonna give that just a moment, let all the assets load in before we go ahead and place Clombo down. Next, we're gonna click on the top left item of all the imported items and then shift click on the last item so we can go ahead and grab all of Clombo and drop them in as one full model. I'm just gonna lower this down a little bit. All right, and there he is. If you click everything all together like that, when you drop him down, he'll come as one piece and then the moment you drop him, you'll notice that UEFN is going to start preparing him and getting him ready for the island. And now we have Clombo. But you're going to notice one really big problem. His eyes are white, and we need to fix that. It is a little bit of an issue with the model. So I'm going to show you how to fix his eyes right now. Also, a special call out to Richie Tunes, who taught me how to fix the eyes in Clombo. You are a goat, Richie. Thank you so much. So we're gonna click on the content drawer once again, and this time we're gonna go ahead and import the last two assets that you noticed I left there in the downloads folder. Once you download the eye and the pupil, we're gonna go ahead and get out of the content browser, and we're gonna go ahead and click on his eyeball. That's gonna bring up a menu on the right. You're gonna go ahead and find materials and double click on the eyeball itself. That's gonna bring us into the materials for the eyeball. Now, we are gonna go ahead and clean some of this up. We don't need all of this. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the metallic one and two. We also do not need the top layer there, which is that hollowed looking piece. We should only be left with that bottom left piece. Now we're gonna go to our content drawer. We're gonna grab those two items that we downloaded into the map. So one is this other eye color that we chose there. That's the blue of the eye. And the final thing is you're gonna to wanna to find the pupil file. You're gonna drop pupil in there as well. You're gonna space them out like so, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you now, we need to add one thing, it's called a lerp. So you're gonna to have to hold down the L key and then hit left click. So if you hold down the L key and hit the left click button on your mouse, a lerp will pop up. That is a connection. So what we're gonna do is put the base color into the lerp and then we're gonna break it out into all the pieces of the eye here. So you're gonna take A and put it into RGB. You're gonna connect B to the RGB of the pupil. And then the last but not least, you're gonna take the alpha and attach it to the pupil's alpha as well. Guys, that is literally it. You're gonna go ahead and bake these changes by hitting the save button. Once it's fully saved, you'll close out and you have Clombo. Guys, that is it. That's all you need to get Clombo working. I hope this tutorial helped. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you think I'm doing a good job. Until next time.